I want to do a quick video here about a situation which I see online every now and then where a person who's saying they're off smoking but they occasionally use electronic cigarettes that have no nicotine and promoting that idea to others who have quit smoking. That, you know, what's the real risk if, the, if it has no nicotine? You, you can use this as kind of a, you know, a mock cigarette. Now, I, I have a video already addressing the issues of using mock cigarettes. When I mean mock cigarette is, you know, a plastic cigarette has uh, nothing in it. It, it. You're inhaling air. There's issues psychologically about using a product like this. But this suggestion of using a nicotine-free electronic cigarette in order to help sustain a quit or to help you get through it, a thought or an urge, it has a real risk that a mock cigarette doesn't have. And that real risk is the fluid that is being used to make that electronic cigarette that's saying it has no nicotine in it may have nicotine. I'm going to attach links to two studies, one that was done in 2014 and one that was done in July of this year, of 2016, that basically showed that when independent evaluators looked at the fluids that were being labeled as being nicotine-free, found that a significant number of them had nicotine in them. The labeling that's done on nicotine products, uh, nicotine fluids, are often uh, erroneous as far as the amount that they have. And again, the important issue is the ones that are saying they're nicotine-free and they're not nicotine-free. Because understand the implication. You're off smoking. You're done with withdrawal. You are nicotine-free. You are not dealing with an active addiction now. You play around with what you think is a, a product that has no nicotine in it, is something to just you know get through a moment, and you deliver nicotine with this product, even though you didn't mean for it to happen. Your intent was it was not going to happen. As far as you knew, as far as you read, as far as you were told, it was nicotine-free, and yet it had nicotine. Well, even though you didn't mean for it to happen, it happened. You administered nicotine, which means you started the process again. You've got an active need for nicotine. That means you're either going back to using or you're going back into withdrawal again. And those are both lousy options. It's one you never, never will have to face again if you don't put nicotine in you again. And as far as the way to guarantee that from never happening from a cigarette or from an electronic cigarette, it really is a matter of that for either product, if you want to stay free forever, you simply make and then always stick to a personal commitment to never take another puff.